sports was was my childhood. Like, there are very few things that I remember or think of that do not involve sports. We basically weren't allowed to watch TV unless there was a game on. Uh, I had two younger brothers, and we just spent the entirety of our days outside playing. Yeah. And we got one family vacation a year where we went to the beach in North Carolina. But otherwise, like we were kind of in a prime location to go D.C., Baltimore, Philly, Pittsburgh, New York. Any of those places could be day drives. Mm -hmm. Almost never went to any of them because every weekend of the year, one of us had something sports going on. Uh, whatever was in season, Yeah. honestly. Um, it was kind of the big three were... Or big four, probably, were football, basketball, baseball, golf. Yeah, now I always figured that it would be after my professional playing career in whatever whatever sport I chose, because uh -huh. <laughs> there are going to be options. Uh, but when, uh, honestly, I, I usually say fifth grade, we did a class, we had a class project where we put on a, a newscast, and I was the sports anchor, and mm -hmm. pretty much said, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. And didn't really change my mind at all since. The biggest thing that's different here is there are an incredible number of local athletes who have gone on to great success. And there are, it's not even that there are that many Fresno State grads. That's, that's a little bit. There are a handful of Fresno State grads who do really well in Paul George in the NBA or Nick Wadney in golf, um, Derek Carr, obviously, and a handful of football players. Yeah. But there are a lot of just... Central Valley high schoolers who are playing baseball in the big leagues or in the NBA, Quincy Pondexter and the Lopez Twins, and there's probably three or four really good golfers, and there's Jenna Prandini, the track star, mm -hmm. and there's Fernando Cabada, marathon star, and there are just, I mean, there are countless others but that is really cool to me yeah that because we're always trying to be as local as possible and a lot of times we can still be local while talking about national sports because there are just a lot of great athletes that grew up here it's uh heaven vallejos who i, I know you know the blind girl, uh, Clovis Elementary School yeah. girl who learned, uh, basically learned how to run when she was 10 and joined the cross country team at school, or 9 actually, um, and a friend and I followed her and her family for three months and did a, a half hour documentary and uh, yeah, that's, the, I mean that's the one because yeah. Uh, it was just, I mean, for me, part of the reason we did it was, like, gosh, can you just imagine not being able to see anything and running, and running a couple miles, and it's like, no way. Yeah. And you just try to figure out how this person's able to do it, this kid. And uh, she's just, I mean, she's incredible. I still see her and see the family once a month, once every two months, and every time I've ever seen her, just the most positive yeah. thinking person and uh, inspiring person that I've ever met, so. I, lo I love high school Fridays, and there is no smell in the world that is so unique as a, a football locker room or a football practice jersey. When I go to practices, I can smell that, and it takes me immediately back to being 17 years old in our locker room. Mm -hmm. And there's just, it's every time. Every time I have gone to a practice in the last six years at any school, it's the same smell. And I don't know how it works, but, and it's not a good one. Friday nights are a blast to me. Just, I love going out, especially out of town a little bit. 
and like a Dinuba, um, some of the schools spread out a little bit and uh, a little bit of Visalia or Sanger, Reedley, like a lot of these places where you can see the lights from a couple miles off. I mean, everyone thinks of the Friday night lights, but I, I think about, I think about that almost every Friday driving around is man like this is still a really cool thing that high school football Friday that that is I don't know that everyone is there and that is and you can just see it and sense it from from a ways off no I don't uh, instead I just constantly throw out TV and movie references pretty much mm -hmm. um, so, if there's anything, see, I wouldn't call it, I don't know, I guess you could still maybe consider things catchphrases, but they're not, like, things that I created. Right. I'd probably feel too goofy to do that. But, like, a lot of Seinfeld stuff, like, giddy up, uh, which was something Kramer used to say, or anytime, I don't know, sometimes it'd be like, Newman, or... Replace someone's name with Newman if they're... A lot of Seinfeld things.